Everybody's wrong about Ethereum. They think that it's dead, that it's too slow, it's outdated, you know, a grandpa coin that nobody cares about. You know, after all, Bitcoin has been the star of the show for the last two years. ETH has lagged behind. But if you've been paying attention recently, ETH is quietly outperforming everything and almost nobody's talking about it. What if the crowd faded it too hard for too long and they've set the perfect conditions for Ethereum to do the one thing that no one expects? And what if everyone's expectations are too low? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to talk about in this video today as a blockchain developer myself who actually works inside of crypto, who works with this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to see how to take advantage of all the insane opportunity happening in the blockchain space right now, I can show you how to increase your income by becoming a blockchain developer over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about why everyone's wrong about Ethereum. Now, before we get started, obviously nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm clearly not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy on the internet with a microphone, a hunch, and a bag of ETH. Crypto is risky. You could lose money, sleep, or your last remaining shred of sanity. Make sure you do your research or don't. Just don't blame me when your cousin gets you to YOLO into a rug pull. So right now, crypto's attention span is the shortest that it's ever been. Really, that's not a crypto problem. That's just a human problem on the internet. But we've reached peak shiny object syndrome. Basically, it's like it's Solana, it's base, it's meme coins, and ETH. Nah, ETH is boring. It's old news. It's not printing 10x next month, so it's off the table. And that's exactly why this might be the most dangerous time to fade it. Because markets punish certainty. They punish consensus views. And the certainty right now is that Ethereum is washed. When everyone agrees on something in crypto, it's almost always wrong. You've got influencers saying that, you know, ETH missed its moment. You've got traders calling it a dead chain. Meanwhile, it's been one of the best performing majors in the past few months. And almost nobody's talking about it. Let's be honest. If you've been in crypto for more than two years, pretty much everyone's got post-traumatic stress syndrome from the last bear market influencers got wrecked last cycle. They're afraid to be bold. Some of them got sued. Most of them got dunked on. And now they're hedging everything, playing it safe. 5K ETH is possible, but let's not get carried away. It's become fashionable to sound reasonable, to underpromise, to look smart by saying something like, you know, don't get your hopes up. But when is playing it safe ever made anyone money in this space? And that fear is contagious. Everyone wants to be seen as the rational one in a sea of hopium. So they talk in muted tones. They hedge every prediction. They use phrases like diminishing returns and macro headwinds and regulatory uncertainty. And that might be technically correct. I mean, I've done it too because no one really wants to lead other people astray, but that's not what this video is about. It's about bringing a different viewpoint to the table because in the end, like you've got to make your own decisions. Nobody else is going to do it for you. And if you try to outsource your thinking to somebody else, well, you're probably going to get burned. But if I step back and look at this, my big bet is that... The only rational thing that you can do in this case is bet on human nature repeating itself. Let me tell you why. See, smart money has already loaded up on Ethereum. Spot ETFs, they're approved. Treasuries, the buybacks are stacking up. Checkbox, you know, staking is at record highs. Checkbox, Ethereum Foundation is not selling. Checkbox. All the while, ETH supply on exchanges is in multi-year lows. Nobody's really talking about it, but the inflows are real. The accumulation is real. You can track it. And the people doing it, they're not tweeting. They're not making YouTube videos. They're accumulating in silence. They're quietly preparing for the retail investors who are too scared to even imagine a full-blown Ethereum rotation, a narrative shift, a bubble, which we really haven't seen yet. Because bubbles don't start with euphoria, they start with disbelief. And so let's look at this dead simple chart. Let's not even use like the fancy trading view chart that everybody pulls up to make them look smarter than they actually are. Let's pull up like the dumb retail chart, which is the coin gecko chart. Now, most people are going to see it like this, right? That's the regular chart. But if you click on log, what do you see on Bitcoin? You see basically a straight line with basically no bubble, at least not since the peak of the last cycle. I could get here and, you know, pull up a bunch of stuff on the screen, try to draw lines, but I think you could see what I'm talking about. No bubble, no blow off top, just a clean orderly trend line. And so if human nature is likely not changing and history is going to rhyme in some way, then Bitcoin's probably going to do something relatively soon in terms of a fireworks show. And what happens when Bitcoin pulls off a fireworks show? Ethereum usually follows shortly after. So tell me, 
Why do you think it's crazy that ETH could do a 3x from its previous all-time high or just a little over a 2x, which would actually be $10,000 per coin, which is the number that people are too scared to talk about this cycle. It's done a 55x in the past. I know there's diminishing returns as the market cap gets bigger. Like, trust me, I've been here a long time. But now we've got ETF staking treasury demand and actual deflation. And you don't think like the 3x is possible. Like, come on. ETH hasn't even broken its all-time high yet for this market cycle, and people are already dismissing the idea that 10k Ethereum is, they're saying it's irrational. But if you zoom out, you'll see that irrational is where crypto lives. It's where the big moves happen. And going back to our retail chart here, like, you forget how dumb this game is. Despite all the talk of things like harmonic patterns, Fibonacci retracements, and macro analysis, like, the game is incredibly dumb. Retail investors aren't reading white papers. They're not modeling ETH burn rates. They open the app. They see Bitcoin. It looks too expensive. And they go, huh, Ethereum, that's the next one. Let's try that. Like, that's it. That's the entire strategy. And honestly, it's not just retail, right? It's also like institutions. People give institutions way more credit for trying to be like these really smart people, but a lot of them just don't understand crypto and they're thinking the exact same way. Bitcoin, good. Ethereum, next thing, also good. Let's try that. That's how I got started. I suspect that may be how you got started. And so that's probably how... All the other money is going to get started regardless if they're investing with $10 or, you know, a million dollars plus. Because you forgot, your brain's been like rotting in trading view for the past three years trying to emotionally recover from the 2022 collapse. And if it hasn't, you're probably influenced by other people who have. You might think the next wave of retail is going to skip ETH altogether and go straight to some Cosmos L3 modular monolithic chain that hasn't even shipped. No, nah, they're not going to do that. Sure, they might gamble on some meme coins. They might try to find the next 100x. But what I'm telling you is big money is going to go after ETH. The obvious thing. And sometimes the obvious thing wins, especially when nobody thinks it's going to. Because we're talking about the left curve, right curve meme in real time. Basically, the left curve says, like, Bitcoin is too expensive. I'll buy Ethereum. And the right curve says ETH is ultrasound money and programmable settlement de deflationary modular architecture and Bitcoin is too expensive. I'm going to buy Ethereum. And the guy in the middle is the one who's like waiting on the perfect entry based on the fourth retest of a descending wedge on a weekly chart. Spoiler alert, the guy in the middle doesn't make any money. The guy watches ETH go from 3K to 7K and still says, I'm waiting for a healthy retrace. And again, speaking of human nature, like don't forget. The rule book hasn't actually changed. Like this cycle does look kind of different so far than cycles past. Yeah, there's regulation. Yeah, there's real infrastructure, but institutions are here, but the nature hasn't changed. The market still runs on rotation, whether it's retail investors or institutions. Solana had its run, mean coins had their moment, but the market gets bored and they rotate. Ethereum hasn't really taken a ride around the block in a while, and that may be one of the reasons it's next. It's the oldest play in crypto. Something pumps, people take profits, they rotate in the next big thing with liquidity and credibility. Ethereum is sitting there. It's the obvious answer sitting in plain sight. Liquid, credible, ready. And speaking of the cycle, like this is where we might be thinking about the entire cycle wrong. It does feel off, like off its rhythm, weirdly quiet, uneventful, but that doesn't mean that the bubble's gone forever. That just means it hasn't arrived yet. We've had no mania, we've had no retail, no social media explosion, no barbershop conversations, but that doesn't mean we won't get it. It just means that we're early. And when that bubble does show up, ETH tends to be the star of the show, at least for a little while. So is this the classic four-year cycle? Maybe. We'll have to wait till the end of the year to see if the fireworks go off. Or maybe the cycle's delayed and we get the face-melting run in 2026. Maybe it's longer. Maybe it's shorter. Who knows? Either way, I don't see a future where the bubble's not coming. And when it does, like, everybody who said that 10k ETH was crazy will be the same people predicting that it's going to be $50,000 per coin and that it was obvious all along. Happens over and over again. So that being said, like, is $10,000 per Ether, like, really that crazy? Well... I'm going to put the question back to you. Some people are saying, you know, Ethereum is going to be between $5,000 and $7,500 per coin. People are a little too scared to say $10,000 per coin. But let's zoom out. In the last cycle, it bottomed out around $80 per coin and went to $4,800 per coin. That's, that's like a 50x plus. Now we got deflation, staking, ETF inflows, treasury demand, less ETH on exchanges than ever. And you're telling me like just over from a 2x from all time high is too much to ask? That's not crazy. It might be conservative. And sometimes the most contrarian thing you can do is believe in something obvious when nobody else does. Because what's going to happen is as soon as ETH hits $7,000 per coin or something like that, 
The people who are playing it safe will now flip bullish overnight. They'll be calling for 20K, 30K, 50K. And by then, the real opportunity will have been gone. Because people buying now, the people who already bought, they're not loud. They're not posting price targets. They're stacking ETH or they've already stacked ETH and they're disappearing. They know the party starts when the music is loud, but the biggest gains come when the room is still quiet. So with that being said, I'm not making this video that said that ETH is going to 10K. Hear me out. Again, not financial advice. Do your own research. But I am saying you'd be smart not to rule it out. Because if Ethereum is about to surprise everyone like it has before, then 10K might not be a moonshot. It might just be exactly where it wants to go. It might be a warm up. So ask yourself this. Is everyone wrong about Ethereum? Or are you just the last one to figure it out? So with that being said, like, what am I personally doing? Okay, so if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know that I am a developer. I work in this space. I work primarily with the Ethereum technology. A lot of people watch this video, think, oh, that's just, you're just making this video because you're a bag holder of ETH, whatever. Okay, like, I, I hold something that I absolutely believe in, just like everybody else in crypto, whether they actually think it's good technology or not. Everybody's pretty much talking their book. I just came to my book because I believe in the actual technology and that that is actually having a spillover effect to the asset itself. So what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. I'm holding on to my ETH. I'm not saying that you should do the same, but a lot of people watching this channel are just going to want to know what I'm doing. And that's exactly what it is. And whether ETH goes to 5K, it goes to 10K, it doesn't really matter that much to me because I'm in this space for the long term. And I know the opportunity is not to do short term trading in crypto. Okay, it's one of the fastest ways to get wrecked. Trading is like a full time job that you can lose money at. And that's why, you know, this channel is about becoming a builder because that's where the opportunity is. As cryptocurrency continues to move forward, so does demand for technology in this industry. As the demand increases, so does the opportunity for builders, for developers. And that's exactly what I teach you on this channel. So if that's something that you're interested in, then make sure you smash that like button down below. Subscribe to this channel. If you want to get started building today, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can see any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those and you want to take the next step or hey, Maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely. I can show you how to become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish, how to increase your income over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.